What's up ladies and gentlemen, I'm Inizalea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today it's Tip Trick Tuesday. And you've got that right, so no longer Motion Graphic Mondays. We didn't upload yesterday and there is a reason behind that. I actually decided to stop Motion Graphic Mondays. That doesn't necessarily mean that I'm going to stop making motion graphic tutorials, but I kind of want to get rid of the necessity to upload motion graphics on a Monday because I actually want to see the bigger picture and focus a little bit more on creativity and filmmaking instead of only motion graphics. And motion graphics on a weekly basis doesn't really allow me to experiment with filmmaking itself. And that's actually where I want to go to. So. I know a lot of people enjoy my motion graphic tutorials, but I also have to think a little bit about myself. And honestly, I feel a little bit more challenged if I can be making filmmaking tutorials and experiment on the go. Hope you understand. It absolutely doesn't mean that I'm gonna stop making motion graphic tutorials, such as today, we're going to see how to make a wiggly kind of text jumpy effect, uh, which I actually saw when I was shopping this weekend at Pools and Bear uh, here in Belgium, Ghent. I was walking and they had like a big screen and, and they had this kind of vintage uh, style promo video on their screen, which really inspired me. And yeah, that actually shows how I get inspired to make my videos. I just look around. So every day, everywhere you look is inspiration. So uh, I saw that effect. I really got intrigued by it and I wanted to recreate it and show you guys how to make it yourself because it's really fun and kind of a happy animation, uh, which works really great nowadays. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so here we are in Adobe After Effects. And the first thing that I wanna do is create a new composition, of course. So I uh, will go for a full HD composition, rename it to the main comp. And there we go, make it around 10 seconds long. And click OK. So what we wanna do is actually find that kind of wiggly text uh, that you just saw. It's a really kind of fun kind of way uh, to bring some life to your text. So we're going to the text tool and just click right over here and subscribe to the channel. What you should do if you enjoy watching this video and you wanna stay up to date from everything that I upload, also be sure to check the bell icon so you get notified when I upload new videos. Okay, so here we have our text. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller by going to uh, the character design kit here. So that's character right here. And we're going to make it a little bit smaller. There we go, perfect. I'm using the Bella Boo font, which is a great font for this type of videos. It really works very well because you have that kind of uh, kit drawn effect in my opinion. So we'll go to our selection tool, go to the align tab right here and just center our text so it's nicely centered right here. Now we're going to right click here, new and create a new solid layer. This is going to be our background layer. We want to kind of add some cool background uh, colors in here. So maybe we wanna go for this kind of yellow, click okay and bring it down. And there we go. So now we have some text, uh, a background and some text. We can go to the text color. Uh, we can change the text color over here or we can go to effect and go to simply generate and fill. This is an easier way in my opinion to colorize the text uh, if you wanna change that later on. So um, let's see what we wanna use here. Let's say we want to use this here and same for the background. I'm going to apply a generate instead of, <clears throat> instead of going to the solid settings. Uh, it's easier to change it this way. So let's say that we're satisfied with these two colors. Um, very simply, what we can do is click on our subscribe to the channel text and go to the animation tab right here in the menu bar, go to animate the text and we're going to animate our position. So click on that and that will open up the range selector position right here. So we wanna position it uh, individually and currently that's not doing it. What we can do is go to the add property um, selector, I'm sorry, and add the wiggle effect. If we go to the wiggle effect right here and move the position right here, you can see that it's actually doing it individually. So what we'll do is go for like five and five and now we are going to have something like this. So now what you can do is open up the wiggle settings, play around with everything right here. Maybe you wanna go for a faster pace or a slower pace, but currently it's a little bit too smooth as you can see. So this is some kind of flag text, which could also work. And if you're going to increase the speed here, 
you're also going to get something pretty cool. You can also lower your value to something like one and one. And there you go. So now you have this kind of uh, effect. Uh, maybe go a little bit slower, something like five. And now you already have this kind of text jig uh, jitter effect, but that's not entirely what we're looking for. We want it a little bit more with a jitter. Before we continue this video, I would like to present you our website designed for filmmakers and video editors to improve their workflow. We offer templates, presets, high quality pre-made packs, soundscapes, essential graphics, and much more. If you don't have time to create something of your own, or you just want to speed up your workflow, definitely check out our website with the link in the description below. Some kind of time jitter that we add on top of the effect so it looks like stop motion animation. So I actually uh, recently made a tutorial on how to do something like that, but for another kind of effect. But in this video, it kind of works similar to uh, how I did it in that video. So what I want to do is once I'm satisfied with my wiggle here and actually lower this value to something like two, um, I can click on my text, go to layer, pre-compose it, and I'm going to move all the attributes and just rename this to title 01, for example, and click OK. So now we have something like this, still the same. All we did is just pre-compose our text. We want to right click on this layer, go to time, enable time remapping. And now we will have uh, this. Hold alt and click on the stopwatch right here for the time remap feature. That's going to bring up the expression tab right here. So what we want to do here is write posterize and then caps T time, open parentheses, something like four, close parentheses, dot comma and then enter value dot comma so if we're going to do that and we're going to preview this we're going to see that we now have this kind of stop motion effect which looks pretty cool we can also increase this number from four to eight which is going to do the animations uh, a little bit faster posterize time actually works like per second so if you want to posterize the time once a second every second it's going to jump a frame if we're going to say eight then eight times a second, it's gonna jump a frame. And now we have a faster kind of motion graphics um, yeah, title effect. In the reality, stop motion actually uses 12 frames because that is as close as you can get to, um, yeah, kind of uh, get it as smooth as possible and not spend too much time, like 24 FPS uh, per second. So that means you have to take 12 photos for each second of video. And this is basically how they do it in uh, the studio. So let's go for 12 and see what that brings us. So now we have a kind of uh, stop motion effect. I think it will look a little bit better if we bring this down to eight, so we can do that as well. And we can also go and back uh, into the composition if you want to change anything from the values. Maybe, maybe open it up, text, wiggle, and kind of uh, make it a little bit less because currently it's set at five. Maybe you want to set that at three so it's not that obvious. Okay, perfect. So now I have an amazing uh, looking kind of uh, wiggle text effect. Now all you can do is also click on here and go to effect, go to distort and go for a turbulence displace. This is actually going to help to make it a little bit more unique. So like every single letter has been written again. So what we want to do is lower the size to something like 10 or like five and then decrease the value to something like two. Maybe let's go for seven. So two and seven right here. And if we're going to play the evolution here, you're going to see that we actually change our text a little bit. Actually, I'm going for five here and 20 here. Or like, yeah, 20. And now if we're going to play with the evolution, you're going to see a little bit more uh, going on in our text. We can actually increase this to something like 10. That will be a little bit better or like 20. And just see what works for you. It really depends. And now all you can do is just alt click and click on stopwatch for the evolution. And right here, we're also going to use the posterize time eight dot comma and below that we're going to write time times 150 which is going to give an infinite animation on the evolution and now we have something like that going on so if we're going to increase that number just so you can see it a little bit better and 
maybe just change the posterize time to something like four and there you go so now we have this kind of a displacement um, update as well so we want to change the amount to something like 20 the size to something like 20 and now we have a different kind of text right here which looks pretty cool maybe a little bit lower even and there we go so now we have our kind of text uh, that is written on the screen, uh, really cool. But actually I already made this kind of tutorial in a previous tutorial, uh, a little bit less detailed than this one, but it also covers how to animate your text. And so if you wanna see that tutorial, I will put a card right here on the video. If you wanna go and check it out, be my guest. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give this video a like. Also be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out our website. We have a bunch to offer for filmmakers, motion graphic artists, and much more. And if you buy something from our website, it helps to support the channel. So that would be amazing. Uh, so hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.